here with the governor of the state of Maryland, Larry Hogan. Hi, Mr. Governor. It's great to be with you. I know this is such an unusual year. Typically, I would see you on the field at the Military Bowl. Can you talk about the game a little bit and, and why it's such a special event? Well, first of all, I wish we were down on the field together for the game. It's uh, it's always been one of my favorite things every year. It's a tremendous opportunity. I mean, Maryland, look, we're very proud to be the home of uh, the U.S. Naval Academy here in Annapolis. We've got every branch of the military and uh, defense community here in the, in the state of Maryland. And this is just a wonderful event that unites, you know, football fans and Marylanders and people across the country to honor those heroes who wear the flag of our nation on their arm. And you know, we just owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to the brave men and women who selflessly place themselves in harm's way, to preserve our freedoms. And I'm grateful to the Military Bowl for providing uh, them with the support and recognition they deserve. It's typically a fantastic week, fantastic day. You got to be the Grand Marshal at the parade in 2018. What do you remember about that experience? Well, it's, uh, it was really exciting. I love the parade every year along with the game. And, uh, I mean, year after year, we have the iconic uh, Budweiser Clydesdales. That's one of my favorite parts. I'm sitting up on the, on the Budweiser truck with the Clydesdales, and they have a Dalmatian that keeps licking me in the ear as we're <laughs> driving around. He seemed to like me. Uh, but I'm just amazed at uh, how we walk through the crowded, narrow streets of historic Annap Annapolis. And those those horses and 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 the dog are they? Uh, but we, they're they're just incredible, and it's a, probably the the highlight of the parade for most people. Uh, but it's really uh, about honoring our our troops, uh, our, both our veterans and our currently serving military. So serving as the Grand Marshal is uh, a tremendous honor, and it gives us a chance to draw more attention. To the military bowl's efforts on behalf of our brave service members and part of that also is patriot point the retreat uh that is out in the state of maryland for uh former service members can you talk a little bit about the support for the state of maryland for patriot point well and we're very proud of that too far too often our service members and our veterans don't receive the thanks the respect or the recognition that they wholeheartedly deserve so patriot point provides wounded and recovering service members and their families with the opportunities to relax, recharge their batteries, and to enjoy some of Maryland's uh, pristine natural resources. So not only do the guests have the opportunity to experience you know, Maryland's beautiful Eastern Shore, but they get to share it with their fellow service members and military families to, who understand what they've been through. So Patriot Point uh, serves uh, some of our nation's greatest heroes, and, uh, and we, uh, we're a grateful state, and so that's why we offer our support. It's the least we can do. All right, let's end on a little optimism. This has been a very, very difficult year for everybody with the pandemic. So for those who are watching, college football fans, fans of the military as well, supporters of the military, what is your message as we head into the holiday season and into 2021? Well, you know, I'm a huge college football fan, and I've been a vocal supporter of uh, the safe resumption of, uh, resumption of college football. You know, sports have an incredibly important role to play in uh, kind of our supporting our nation's morale. And with all that we've been through, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's it really helps kind of lift your spirits. And so if we can do it safely, we want people out on the field. There's no doubt that we still have some dark days ahead of us. Uh, but we are continuing to make incredible progress on COVID-19 with the vaccine. There's light at the end of the tunnel. We're going to get through this season and Hopefully, we'll be back in the stands cheering on our favorite team sometime real soon. And here's to doing this on the field together in 2021. Uh, amen. I I'm with you. <laughs> Governor Larry Hogan, thank you so much.